Okay, in this video, we're going to discuss how to do synthetic division. Now, we've already showed you how to do long division. Synthetic division is just kind of a, uh, a shorter version. You don't have to write the variables and um, allows us to de define or find factors uh, of a, a longer polynomial so that we can condense it and maybe get it to where we could factor it to find the zeros of the polynomial. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take the value that we're dividing by and we're going to just set that equal to zero. So if I say x minus 8 is equal to zero, I add 8, so that's going to give me x is equal to 8. Now the reason that I do that is that's going to allow me to determine what number goes in the box for my synthetic division. So in this case, we're going to put 8 in the box. We're then going to list the coefficients of each of the uh, variables. So I've got a 2, I've got a negative 25, I've got a positive 66, and then a 48. Again, much like with long division, if I'm missing a degree, you always want to put the number 0 in there to hold that place uh, value. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring the first number straight down. So I bring that number down, I get a 2. And then I'm going to take the number in the box and multiply it times this number. So 8 times 2 gives me 16. I'm then going to add my column. So negative 25 and 16 gives me negative 9. 8 times negative 9 gives me negative 72. Again, I'm going to add again. That gives me negative 6. And then negative 8 times, ne or I'm sorry, positive 8 times negative 6 gives me negative 48. And then that gives me 0. Again, any time that that last number is a 0, that's the, an indicator that we do not have a remainder. So when we go to write our answer now, basically we're going to go back up to our original problem. We know our highest degree is an x to the third. So I'm going to subtract 1 from that. And that makes this 2x to the second. And then I'm just going to go down by 1 each time. So x and then minus 6. So my answer would be 2x to the second minus 9x minus 6. Okay, let's look at example number 2 with our synthetic division. On this one, again, same process to start. I'm going to say x plus 3 equals 0. When I subtract 3, that tells me x equals negative 3. So the negative 3 is going to go in the box. I'm going to list my coefficients, so I've got a 1. Notice I don't have an x to the third, so I'm going to put a 0, then a negative 2 for my x squared, and then a 9 for my x, and then a 0 for the constant. Again, I bring my 1 straight down. So 1, I multiply the box times that, that gives me negative 3. I add those together, I get negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. That gives me 7 when I add those together. Negative 3 and 7 gives me negative 21. 9 and negative 21 gives me negative 12. And then negative 3 and negative 12 gives me 36. And then I add that to get 36. Again, I go back up to my original problem. Highest degree is 4, so this first term is going to be a 1x to the third minus 3x squared plus 7x minus 12. And what that tells me is this 36, since I didn't get a 0, that's actually going to be uh, my remainder. So that goes on the top of what I'm dividing by that x plus 3. So here would be my answer for this particular one. 1x one to the third minus 3x squared plus 7x minus 12 plus the remainder 36 over x plus 3. Okay, let's take a look at one more synthetic division here. Uh, this is 2x to the third plus 11x squared minus 21x minus 90. And we're dividing by 2x plus 5. So again, I'm going to take my 2x plus 5 and set it equal to 0. So in this case, 
I subtract 5, I get 2x equals negative 5. So x in this case, when I divide by 2, is actually negative 5 over 2. So again, this is one where I've got a fraction in the box. I'm going to go ahead and list my coefficients. 2, 11, negative 21, and negative 90. Okay, I bring my 2 straight down. So 2, well, negative 5 halves times 2. Uh, that's going to be negative 5 which gives me positive 6. If I multiply negative 5 halves uh, times 6, that's going to give me negative 15, which when I add those together, that's going to give me a negative 36. If I then take negative 36 uh, times negative 5 halves, uh, that's going to give me positive 90, and that's going to give me a remainder then of 0. So notice what that leaves me left with now. Uh, this becomes 2x squared plus 6x minus 36.